Hi everyone, welcome to our Waco MPO public informational meeting. Today, we're going to talk about several items. Um, we're going to focus on two amendments that are currently out for public review, our MTP Amendment 2 and our TIP Amendment 2. But first, we're going to give you some background information. So we're going to talk about who we are at the MPO and our role here. We're going to talk about the Metropolitan Transportation Plan, the Transportation Improvement Program, before we get into the details of these two proposed amendments. Then we'll talk about um, our current public comment opportunities and the schedule for that and leave some time for question and answers at the end. So who are we at the MPO and what's our role? So the MPO provides local input into long-term and regional transportation decisions. We prioritize regionally significant projects with realistic funding strategies, and we decide how federal highway and transit funds should be used in our region. And we also assist governments and TxDOT in identifying priorities. So all of this to say is we guide how future transportation network should look and how it should function for all users. So here at the Waco MPO, um, our study area includes all of McLennan County. We're not the only one. MPOs are required for urban areas um, throughout the country with more than 50,000 population. Our Waco MPO is governed by a policy board and informed by a technical committee. And the MPO provides a coordination and consensus building role. So what's the MTP or the Metropolitan Transportation Plan? The MTP is a 25 year plan that identifies regional transportation goals and projects to be constructed or implemented by the year 2045. So that's our current planning horizon for our current MTP. Um, the MTP includes regionally significant projects from each mode. So that's highways, public transportation, aviation and rail. And this also includes bicycle and pedestrian projects. Highway or transit projects that use federal dollars must be included in the MTP, that's a requirement. And all of the projects that are recommended in the MTP must be constrained against a realistic estimate of our future revenues that are available to our region. The TIP or the Transportation Improvement Program programs off federal highway public transportation and bicycle and pedestrian projects for the Waco region for the next four years. So we take some of the projects from that 25 year plan and we look at projects that are going to be implemented in the next four years. And it could be projects in an engineering phase, a right of way acquisition or construction phase. It also includes public transportation services. So in order for a project to be included in the TIP, it must first be identified in the MTP, so it has to be part of that 25 year plan. The project must be fully funded. If it's a right of way project, it must have had the necessary engineering studies in the previous phase complete. Or if it's a construction project, the right of way acquisition has to be in progress as well as the completed engineering studies. And here's a diagram that gives you an idea of what this process looks like. So here is the 25 year metropolitan transportation plan that is, um, has more projects and is at an earlier stage in the uh, project implementation process. And as it moves through these processes, the, the final step is to be programmed into the TIP before it can be constructed. So first we're going to talk about amendment to the MTP. So the reason we're pursuing this amendment is because the City of Waco received TxDOT grant funding for two bicycle and pedestrian projects. The first one is the Cedar Ridge Sidewalks project and the second one is the MKT Trail. Um, the city applied for grant funding in 2019 as part of the Transportation Alternatives Call for Projects from TxDOT. And recently, in April of 2021, the Texas Transportation Commission awarded the funding for these two projects. So first we had to check to make sure that these projects were adequately described in our MTP, because again, they use federal funds, therefore it must be included in the MTP. So for the trail project, the MKT trail, no changes were required because it was adequately described, adequately described as in one of our existing priorities. 
Um, however, however, for the Cedar Ridge sidewalks, we did need to modify one of the existing priorities to adequately capture the scope of work for this project. So this amendment is revising strategy four, priority one. It's revising the project limits, the scope of work, costs and funding sources to make sure that it is consistent with this project award. And here's what that revision looks like. So the facility is North 18th and North 19th streets, that didn't change, but the extent has, has, exchange, has changed from Live Oak Avenue to Lakeshore Drive. The scope of work um, now includes construction of on and off-road facilities for bicycle and pedestrians along both sides of the roadway between Lakeshore Drive and Park Lake Drive. In addition to constructing continuous sidewalks on both sides of the roadway to Live Oak Avenue and constructing a road diet to create two lane arterials with center turn lane and potentially bike lanes. The revised cost is a total of $8.7 million, and this adds the $2 million for the project award and the uh, city match that goes along with that. And here's a map of what that looks like with the purple representing the new project extent that we added to this priority project. So the second amendment is to the tip. It's also an amendment too. So the same two projects, um, Cedar Ridge Sidewalks and MKT Trail, now these both need to be added to the TIP because they've received full funding. And not only is this something that we're required to do because again, it is using federal funds, it also helps us to demonstrate that we do um, approve and support of this, these projects locally. So the MKT Trail, the proposed fiscal year for construction is 2023. It's along the abandoned Union Pacific Rail property purchased by the city of Waco. Um, it's between 84, so East Waco Drive, and um, FM 933, which is Golson Road. The scope is to construct a 12-foot reinforced concrete shared use trail for bicycles and pedestrians, and it's a cost of about $2.8 million, um, 2.3 of that from federal funds, and a city of Waco contribution of about $577,000. And then the second project is the Cedar Ridge Sidewalks, proposed for, con proposed for construction in 2024 along North 19th Street between Lakeshore Drive and Park Lake Drive, um, with the scope of constructing on and off-road facilities for pedestrians and bicycles along both sides of the roadway. Project cost is about $2 million with 1.6 in federal funds and about 416,000 of matching uh, City of Waco contribution. And here's a map of where these two projects are located. So we are accepting public comments on uh, both proposed amendment twos. We are in the middle of a 10 day public comment period, um, which will run through June 2nd. This is the public meeting. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted to the website and up for the duration of the comment period. And then we'll have a public hearing um, with a plan for policy board adoption at the policy board's June 17th meeting. So please let us know what you think. Um, you can call us, you can email us, and we also have comment cards available for you to use and submit on our website. Um, thank you and please get in touch if you have any questions.